everyone it's Maria so today I have a video um, basically naming my top favorite scents so like perfumes and stuff I unfortunately I don't have five that I could tell you about I have a million because I'm not I'm not stuck on one perfume I like I'm very particular I tend to buy the same perfumes but I buy at least ten different ones not just one or two so I'm gonna name the ones that I buy the most and that I like the most and why I like them so number one I'm gonna start with karma and this is just the solid karma perfume from lush solid scent and this is what it looks like okay so now I before you guys ask you guys are gonna wonder why do I like the solid not the spray to me the spray is more citrusy and I don't like things that are too citrus so to me the spray is more citrus and it's stronger this one actually has like a cocoa butter kind of base so it mellows out the scent quite a bit so um, I'm able to tolerate it I really really like this though I prefer the solid over the um, spray the good thing about this though is that it lasts a lot longer than the spray perfume it lasts a long time if you just dab it behind your ears your wrist etc it lasts a long time so this is my number one favorite scent karma I like it you could just throw it in your purse it's small so my second like daytime perfume that I really like to use and obviously I can't clash it with um, karma because it's totally different scent strain um, is Curious by Britney Spears. Now this is the original one and oh I just broke it. <laughs> um, yeah this is the original one with just a little pump with the cute little tassel and the charms and I like this one for everyday use. It's not too strong but it's very feminine so it's one that I like to use daily. Um, it's not very musky it's kind of fresh so along the lines of that perfume, I like to use this one, but I like to use this one at night. Um, after I shower, I spray it on while my skin's kind of damp. And it's not a mature scent, but it's not a girly scent. It's kind of like cotton candy meets musk. It's very sexy, very sensual. And I remember the commercial for this was very uh, erotic. <laughs> So yeah, that's the best way to describe this perfume. It's very, um, very, very exaggerated f feminine. It's, I like it. it, but it's very sweet. So if you can't tolerate sweet perfumes, I wouldn't suggest this one for you because it's, it's very sweet. One of my, that's one of my favorites. So another two of my favorite daytime perfumes are Giorgio. This one is Giorgio Blue and it's a very um, fresh scent. It smells like like gardenia flowers. It's fresh like a cool water meets gardenia kind of scent. So if you guys like Cool Water by Davidoff, Davidoff uh, you guys will like Giorgio Blue. My second one is the from that Giorgio line is the original Giorgio. But this is kind of like a lot of people say it's an old lady perfume because it's kind of strong, kind of musky. And if you don't like white diamonds, don't get this one because it's strong like that. It doesn't smell like white diamonds, but it has like a high pitch note inside that could be very aggravated. So if smells irritate you, like high strong smells, don't get Giorgio. Get Giorgio blue. Um, so one of my favorite perfumes, and it's limited edition, this is like one of my favorite perfumes. I don't use it very often because it was limited edition and I can't find it anymore. It's called Givenchy, My Givenchy Dream by Givenchy. And this is a bottle with a cute little blue cap and it has their little logo on the top. Now this is kind of like, kind of like a girly scent. It, to me it smells like a night sky. It's kind of like a beautiful romantic smell it's not very strong and to me this is more of like a 20 something perfume um, age range it's it's very nice for but it's not a mature scent it's not for like somebody older so that's just my opinion you could use whatever perfume you want but if I were in my 30s 40s I probably wouldn't use this perfume so um my last three that I love 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 
but I don't buy because they're quite expensive. Um, Miracle by Lancome. Oh my god. Oh, it smells so good. It's like my all-time favorite perfume. I can't even describe what it smells like. It smells like blossoms and there's sweetness to it, but this smells like there's some sandalwood under notes. It's it's very I think it's mature. I think it could go from it can go from 20 and up. I mean, I know there are people who are younger than that than that use this perfume, but since it's a very strong perfume, it's not as strong as Giorgio or White Diamonds, but it is fairly strong, but it's sweet. So I think younger generations can get away with it because it's not, it's not too exaggerated, but it's nice. I would say if a younger girl uses it, it'd probably be more like a going out perfume, not an everyday perfume. So um, that brings me to my next perfume. Now this one is very floral. Um, it's called Comme une Evidence by Yves Rocher and this is just the travel bottle but it's very very floral very natural smelling very refreshing um, I would say it's a bit of a more mature scent but I like personally I like perfumes that are very strong I like to leave my scent wherever I go so this is why a perfume like this is for me because it's very floral and it's sharp but the, the scent that it leaves behind is floral, but it's toned down a little. Um, it smells a little earthy. It's it's really nice. It's one of my favorite scents, as well as I'm kind of in between this and Miracle. I like them about the same. So, Common Evidence. And my... I would say... Um, one of my favorites, but not extremely favorite is uh, Juicy, the original scent. Now this is just the Travel Roll-On by Juicy. Um, it's it's the original scent. It's okay. I like it because it's like a no-nonsense fragrance. It's kind of strong. Um, very... It's strong. But it has kind of like an ashy undernote that I don't care for. So um, I kind of just wear this more like on a daily basis just to um, kind of wear it out. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's a perfume that I'd repurchase or if it was given to me I'd probably wear but I wouldn't go out of my way to buy the Juicy perfume because it is very expensive and it's not one of my favorite scents but it's something that I do wear and um, I probably just wear it like on a daily basis to work or going out. It's it's really convenient to get it in these little bottles though because you could just kind of throw it in your bag and um, what I like to do with it is actually refresh my hair with it. Like if I've been around people who are smoking or if I've been out and my hair tends to pick up the scents that are around me, I would roll some of this in the palm of my hand and then just kind of streak it through the ends of my hair and um, yeah, it, it helps to take out funky smells that can get trapped in your hair on your clothing. So it's a really nice scent in that sense, but it's not something that I'd probably go out of my way to buy. So um, what I want you guys to do now is just leave, me, just leave me a video response or leave me a comment telling me what are your favorite perfumes and what do you wear every day. Um, tell me perfumes that you don't like, perfumes you don't care for, perfumes that like um, that you think are overpriced. But you'd probably purchase if it wasn't. Yeah, just leave me a comment about anything about this. Okay? Okay. See you guys soon. Bye.